Oh hi folks and welcome to another video from Brummy in the Highlands. I thought I'd take a walk around Clover Cairn today. Now this is an ancient burial ground just near Culloden, near Culloden Battlefield. I'll just give you a quick uh, a quick look at that there. That tells you a little bit about it if you want to pause the screen. Now the wind's quite bad again so apologies if the audio's uh, not too good. Right, so here we are. We'll just take a quick look around. As you can see there, you've got all these different cairns. Now a cairn is like a burial chamber, like a crypt, an ancient burial chamber. And uh, we'll look at this one first. We'll go and take a look at this one. And then all around the burial chamber, you've got these stones. Now they must all mean something. I'm sure they do. take a look at this burial chamber and then you've got one directly to the left of it you can just see coming into view there now and then one again to the very left of that one so you've got three chambers all in all and um, I do believe that um, on the solstice the sun lines up with them all I believe so lots of people come here on the solstice you can see the old stone surrounding it. We're going to have a look what it says about it. This is quite a big chamber, lots of uh, rocks to build this one. We'll go inside it. Very deep. It's just a circular chamber inside. This is amazing, isn't it? Really, really is amazing. Now, I am told that if you take one of the rocks off a can, I'm not sure if it applies to Clava can as well, but uh, I am told that if you take a rock off then you will become cursed. So I'm not going to be doing that today. Now the size of these stones as well. Now these are the perimeter stones. Now I would say that's about uh, eight foot tall. Maybe a bit taller. And you can see how old they are. And they're all around the perimeter of the cairn. Let's go and take a quick look at what the uh, the information plaque says. So this is called the Northeast Cairn, the one we've just been in. That's the Northeast Cairn. It tells you a little bit about it there. So it says there, I'm not sure if you can read that, but it says on the shortest day of the year, sunlight streams up the passageway to illuminate the chamber. Both of Clover's large cairns are aligned to the midwinter sunset. For the Bronze Aged farmer, this was a forbidding time of year with short days and long nights, cold weather and dead crops. So there we go. And you can see just on the left of the plaque there, a picture of the sun shining into the can. So we'll take a look at the next one now, the next chamber. And again you've got these stones all around the perimeter of the can. Now this one hasn't got an entrance or has it? Let's take a quick look at that. There we go, there's another one. So I would imagine this would have been a lot higher years and years ago. This would have been a lot higher and then you get lots of uh, lots of people buried in there. I'm not sure how many they would put into a cairn, how many bodies, but you can see again these perimeter stones and then you've got um, the stone leading up to the cairn as well from the perimeter stones 
So these are obviously significant. And this is just in the middle of this field. Now these are open to the public so you can come any time you want. And I believe there's cans all over the fields that you can't get access to as well because they're on private land. So we'll just take a look at this one. This one's called a ring can. So the ring can would probably have had an entrance but none has been identified. Traces of burning were found inside. Uh, perhaps from rituals that were linked to the burial cans. So these outer stones, according to this plaque here, um, the taller stones are all on the southwest side to face the midwinter sunset. So if we look to the right, that's one of the taller ones there. And the outer lying circle of standing stones is higher in that direction. Okay. And yes, I can see in all the cairns they have got a taller one. So we'll go and take a look at the other one now. So that one was the ring can. So there's no sort of access into that one. Oh, you've got a very small one just here. This is a curb can. Sparkling white quartz fragments were found inside the curb can. Though little else survived. That's interesting. I'll just give you a quick uh, look at that uh, plaque there. And that's the curb can. So here we are, folks. Now you've got the outer stones there just at the southwest can. So we'll go and take a quick wander inside this can. And this is another deep one. Now I wonder where the bodies were buried. Again, another thought-provoking one when you're standing here in the middle of the can. And it's a bit spooky again. Would you want to spend a night in a can? I don't think I would. For all this history, it's fantastic. So just look at the road there, folks. You've got two of the standing stones. One on the right hand side of the road, one on the left. So there's road put right the way through the middle of the standing stones there. I'll just pan round and there's another one of the standing stones there. There's evidence of them all over the site. So as I said before, this is worth a visit if you are visiting Culloden Battlefield then just take a, a wander a couple of miles further up the road and you'll come to Clava Cairns. It is well signposted. If you come out to Culloden Battlefield and turn right you'll then see the signs to Clava Cairn. So there we go folks. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. It gives you an insight into this very ancient burial ground. Well worth a visit. Uh, if you've enjoyed it then please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my page Brummie in the Highlands. I've got a Facebook page as well so check me out on there. So until the next time keep looking out for further videos until the next time I'll see you again soon.